Hey guys, so today I'll be teaching you how to export your images for Instagram. Okay, um, before we go into that, you want to find out why I choose this uh, settings. Okay, so let's see at this image here. If you look at this image, you can see that this image is very sharp, right? You would think that it's 300 dpi and all that stuff. But let me show you. Okay, just by looking at this image, I'll press Ctrl U to view the source code. Then I'll look for the image. So this is the link to the the source of the image. This is the actual image uploaded. So I'll save it to a folder on my drive. This is the photo here. I'll right click it. Properties. Details. Check it out. So you can see that the DPI is 96 DPI. This is the dots per inch that Instagram will convert it to. No matter whether you upload it as 300 DPI or 240 DPI, it will be reduced to 96 DPI because on web it doesn't make that much difference unless you are going to print your artwork. This is also the width and height, the, make, the pixels that you should be cropping your photos to. Okay, if you can just remember these three numbers, yeah? So knowing that Instagram does that, right? So it's best that you actually resize and crop your images according to their specifications. Because if you do not, then you are allowing Instagram to crop and resize your, their, your images according, like using their own tools, which might not be the best. So what you would do is, Let's say I want to upload this photo, right? What I would do, I would crop it first to 4x5. See, I want to do it like that. Once it's cropped, then for those who want to export in Lightroom, what you can do is go to File, Export, Change, click this, Resize to Fit short edge 1080 pixels because that is the shortest edge change the deep pixels per inch to 96 this is the shortcut if you want to do it without going to photoshop but going to photoshop will be a better will be the sharper um, method in my opinion so uh, make sure the settings for this are is also 100 sRGB, make sure, because web can only read sRGB color space yeah, so then you export, this is for the quick method the sharper method in my opinion would be by right clicking this image edit in photoshop open anyway so then it opens in photoshop, this is photoshop right now Okay, hold on while it loads. Okay, once uh, it's loaded here, I'll click image, image size. First thing I'll do is change the pixels inch per inch to 96. Then I'll change the shortest, the shorter edge to 1080. So it automatically will be 1350. Remember the three numbers just now 1080, 1350, and 96. Also, make sure you are resampling it by 2 by cubic sharper because this is a reduction in size. It cannot be any other option because you are not enlarging the image, you are reducing. So it should be this. This is the final image. What you do next is you file, save as, make sure you choose JPEG. Why JPEG and not PNG is because PNG is a bigger file. 
you want it to be as small as possible you don't want instagram to like crop it for you again or like resize the images because it's a big file yeah so i'll save it there make sure there you, you can even see the color profile over here srgb make sure it's srgb and not any other like adobe rgb and stuff because web can only read srgb save replace it yeah save it before make sure it's 12 maximum so it's in pictures once i get this image basically i will just usually i'll just upload it to um my google drive yeah that's where i will upload it then i will download it on my phone and upload on instagram from there okay i've also i will also include a url to an article to for those who are asking like why should i resize it and not let instagram resize it for me this is a good article for you to read yeah i will put it in the description so the link will be on the description for you to read yeah yep so that's uh pretty much it that's how i um resize my images so yeah thanks for watching guys wait 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 sorry one more thing before you actually um edit this on photoshop right you want to make sure that under this edit preferences you might want to change this first to srgb because it would by default it will be pro photo rgb or adobe rgb because once you edit it in photoshop you want it to be srgb from there you can export it and then upload on instagram yeah so make sure this is changed to srgb then yeah that's pretty much it okay if you like this this, this video is helpful to you please give it a like and subscribe to my page share and whatever man thanks <laughs>